Reminders. Watch the video till the end to know the password of the file. And do not redistribute the file. Thank you.抚摸你调皮的卷发，光亲吻你泛红的脸颊，光悄悄把你的小雀斑一起照亮。当你的脸上透着沮丧，当你的语气普通往常，想怎么找回你微笑时可爱模样？ To be a love, I want to to be a love. 拐弯曾闯进的小巷，出狱的地方，那些荒唐，藏着谁的希望？快快让我住进你心。拥有我的心，我愿给你，给你我的所有，不管终点在哪里，一路都有甜蜜。快快让我快加爱占据，别再藏起那句我愿意，我会吻你，吻你，不再犹豫，给你专属的甜蜜。In editing the group name in the first slide, click the object and type your desired name. Take note, it should all written in capital letters. In editing the group name in the second slide, open first the selection pane. Select Hide All, as is shown in the video. Check the box of the object. First, Shadow. Click the box and type your desired name. Repeat this process until the third text outside object. You can follow the procedure in the video. And there you have it, it was done. As you notice, there is a big red rectangle and green rectangles can be found in slide 3. The red rectangle serves as the slide guide of each slide. You can delete it after you finish editing the presentation or not, depending on your preference, while the green rectangles are served as the use of picture fills. When you encounter green rectangles in the presentation, it means the object is designated to be a picture fill. In order to edit these rectangles just like a Netflix style in slide 3, go to the fourth slide, which is a hidden slide. Click the object and click the one rectangle, as shown in the video. Go to the Format tab, select the Shape Fill. Under the Shape Fill, select Picture, as shown in the video. 
select your desired picture to input. Take note, the photo chosen should have the same orientation as the green rectangle. If the green rectangle in portrait, the picture should be in portrait. If the green rectangle in landscape, the picture should be in the landscape. Repeat this process to the other rectangles that can be found in this presentation. After all of the shapes been filled with pictures, select the group and copy it, as is shown in the video. Then go to the third slide, open the selection pane. As you can see there is picture 2 can be found in selection pane, which is the green rectangles behind the texts. Paste the copied object as in picture format, as shown in the video. Arrange a pasted picture using the green rectangles picture as a guide. Set the brightness of the pasted picture to minus 40%, and arrange the order object of the pasted picture to the back, as is shown in the video. Then you can delete the green rectangle as shown in the video. And there you have it, you have your own version of Netflix style of the background picture. The fifth slide of the template contains the group members. The green rectangles are served as a profile picture of the members. In filling the shape, you can use a one by one picture to avoid a hassle in adjusting the shape. Taking note all the time, after filling in the picture of a green rectangle that being used as a background picture of the slide, you must set the brightness to minus 40%, to obtain the effect just like Netflix. In editing slide 9, the topics to be discussed, you can notice there is a lot of green rectangles that can be found. You can replace the color of the shape in the picture like we do in other green rectangles. The total number of topics that can be discussed in the presentation is 10 topics. Take note, do not ungroup the topics, or else it can affect the feature of the template. This template has a feature that can be accessed using Microsoft PowerPoint. That feature called Trigger. Triggers give you specific click points for controlling animation and are especially useful when you want several effects on a slide. The Trigger feature of this presentation can be found in slide 9, the topics to discuss slide. In this slide, if you click the arrow, the group topics will be moved. You can click these arrows to change the position of the group topics. I added this feature to have the same vibes as Netflix. But don't worry, there is another version of the template that not using this feature. Another feature of this presentation is the use of hyperlinks. This feature starts on slide 9, the topics to be discussed. Where selecting the picture or green rectangle earlier, allows you to jump to the specific slide of the topics. Just as it is shown in the video. Also, as you notice the X button on the upper right of the topic slide, also contains a hyperlink. By selecting this button brings you back to the slide 9, topics to be discussed. And you can see the left arrow that can be found in the upper left of the continuation discussion, it is also a hyperlink. The same function as the X button brings you back to slide 9. An additional feature I added to the presentation is the movable seat. I added this feature to help the viewers keep track of when a certain topic ends. This feature is optional to be edited. In editing this feature, open the selection pane. As you can see, there is seat length and seeker. The seeker is the red small circle while the seat length is red bar which we saw earlier. 
to edit this feature, we need to take note that the maximum length of seek is 9.25 inches. Select the seek length, and you notice of appearing of format tab. Under the format tab, adjust that width to your desired value as long as it doesn't exceed the maximum value. As it is shown in the video. After adjusting the value, select the seeker and seek length together and aligned it to the right. As is shown in the video. And there you have it, you have an adjustable or moving seek. I added password protection of the file, which I compiled together with the standard and widescreen sizes. It contains an 8-digit password. To find the password of the file, you just need to answer the questions shown in the video. Before the video ends, there are two versions of this template. First is version 1.0, it contains a basic customized title, slide 1, your own style Netflix background, slide 4, hyperlinks, and movable seat. And version 2.0, contains the features of version 1.0, improved customized title, slide 2, Netflix intro letters, like N, and trigger feature. These versions are completely free to download, but version 2.0 has a certain requirement, which is reaching this video to 10,000 views, to unlock it free. However, you can have early access to version 2.0 by purchasing it. For more information, you can view my pinned comment. Thank you for continuing to support my channel. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming content to come.